Wow, that's a lot of pop in. Goodness. <laughs> You mean you're doing great Sonics? Right. They both work. They, never get used to <laughs> they both work, Tails. Oh. Sonics or Sonic doesn't matter. But the story is suffering, though. In fact, I've seen this now. The story is the story had so much potential in this, but it's not set up right. Like after the first two acts, you get all these unique cutscenes and everything, and as soon as the classic. The classics show up. The story just takes a huge back seat. We need that emerald. Sonic, you should go over there and check it out. I bet sure. I'll we'll go check it out. Why not? Back, just like you brought back our friends. And I bet you double. We're going to need all seven emeralds. Oh, that's like a cliche. That's Sonic. Or <laughs> that's that's a cliche of Sonic now, isn't it? In order to beat the game, you need seven chaos emeralds. <laughs> An adventure's no fun if it's too easy. Uh, <laughs> Sonic Labyrinth would like to talk to you about that, Sonic. <laughs> that event, that game was horrible. And now we got to the last area of the game. Yeah, this game is not that long. We might actually just beat this game tonight, go for the longer session. We're off to our next area. Let's get this Chaos Emerald, and let's go out to the to the modern era. With the modern area unlocked, we now introduce of the modern era where modern Sonic is born. And we're going into what is considered to be the worst Sonic game ever conceived. We have... Oh, we're going to start as classic Sonic, why not? We're going to go into Crisis City. This was the... This was the 50th anniversary uh, level from Sonic 06, or Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Which technically was technically written out of the timeline according to it. I've never played Sonic 06, but I have seen plenty of playthroughs, and a lot of reviewers basically rip this game to shreds. And there's been, there's been people trying to actually mod the game to actually get that running on PC. And you know what? Kudos to those who want to, but why would you want to mess with a game that technically is physically and programmably broken? I wouldn't want to. I don't. And the fact is that Sega themselves have actually delisted the game, I think, off their website. So, I guess that was most recent, though, because they didn't want to bring this game back. It says this game was released in 2011. It's surprising that they want to remember this uh, horrifying train wreck. <laughs> I guess it's, uh, you know, it, if it's part of the past, it's part of the past. You know, you can't escape your past, Sega. As much as uh, as much as much other people will want you to say that, hey, we, can't, we, we, we can forget our game. We can forget games we've made. No! Like... He was a company that may have forgotten the game, but the fans of Sonic the Hedgehog have not. Ah! I'll jump on here. These are Iblis monsters. Because <clears throat> Sonic 06, the story was convoluted. <laughs> it was convoluted. It was like... Let's see. Let's see if I can remember it from watching other playthroughs. It's like... There is this... this this a deity that lives in um, in Solaris, or not Solaris, but uh, Soliana, and and for some and for someone, the Doctor Eggman sought it out, to saying that this power of destruction could be used to conquer the world, and somehow the power is in within this princess called and this lady called Princess Elise, and um, and Sonic's story in that. It's just him saving the princess constantly. Because I know I know Sonic was trying to not to be the Mario, but having his plot literally just saving the princess, it really does feel like it's a... Oh! Sonic, you were not supposed to jump there. You were not supposed to fall off into the death zone. There's a red ring up there, but it's hard to see, though. That's weird. But... 
Like the the two the, like the two story of Sonic 06 is that you can just see like all the backstory happened with Silver and Shadow. And this is the game where Silver the Hedgehog appeared to be fair and I think ever since I think ever since the of Silver's introduction, Silver has yet to run away from this game. Even though Sega is technically in Hey! The level was supposed to end there! Come back with my signpost! Come back! <laughs> level, give me back my ending! I want my ending, please! Thank you! Sonic is... I don't know what this means, but I feel like Sonic is positioned too far to the right here. Because I can't see where his head is. Right, come on, you. Oh yeah! Woo! There's my signpost. It's too bad I'm stuck in a 2D plane. <laughs> the concept of 3D. Apparently, Sonic has not achieved perfection of of 3D Sonic so far. But no, I was supposed to jump there. And go! Huzzah! And Sonic, we get the uh, A rank because we died once. Uh, do we really want to see the color of this place? <laughs> it's broken and dead. Oh well. Can't harp on Crisis City much longer. We gotta beat it. The stomp move. We've been using the stomp the entire game. Sonic Generations. At least to be fair, this game runs faster than Sonic than Sonic 06 did any day of the week, though. Cause I think that man, there's like it had like high resolution graphics for the 360 and PS3, but like it ran horribly, as far as I was aware of. Like it's had slowdown. Also, the fact that the loading screens—that's what people talk about Sonic 06 all the time. It's like the loading screens are just so much of them. And the fact that I think it was like what, 15, 20 second load times per, like you know, for like the permissions going into the stages and everything. It's like, luckily this game doesn't have those types of load screens, thankfully. Let's go! Huzzah! This level is actually not too bad with, with modern Sonic. Man, can you play the, can you imagine playing this with Sonic 06 in Sonic? It'd be broken up the wazoo. <laughs> and it's sad to say that this this level works 200 times better than uh, than the entirety of Sonic 06. <laughs> Let me get my free life there. Thank you. Ow, 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 come on, no, no, Sonic! <laughs> Just like Sonic 06, you died to unnatural causes. Oh boy, I thought I could make the jump, but that was not the case. Jump high! Is there actually a pathway down here? Yeah, there is, but I'm not gonna take it, though. But there's our first instance of using the stomp, but again, we've been using the stomp the entire game. We have to use the stomp now to push the lava pillars down. The homing attack was supposed to work there, Sega! It didn't work. What? What kind of shenanigans is that? <laughs> I should have homing attacked and not gotten hurt. <laughs> oh, I guess, you know, it's just that there's glitches in Sonic 06 and they're just paying homage to it with this stage. <laughs> For the most part. There actually, if you actually, if you actually play the game for the achievements, there is actually an achievement in this stage that, um, that you have to avoid, like, all the cars. For um, 
at the end section here. And they actually say, is that tornado carrying a car? <laughs> oh, the lava pillars actually saved me there. That was nice of the lava to do that. Thank you, Iblis. You technically are the literal devil of the world, but still, you know what? Prayer of credit to you. You saved me from, from a bottomless pit. This is a finicky jump here. To get it in right position and just... There we go. That's a little finicky jump, to be fair. There's the end segment here. If you don't get hit by a car by the tornado throwing the stuff at you, you get the achievement. Is that tornado carrying a car? No, ah, wow. Okay, Sonic, you don't need to fall down like that. Oh, just play exactly like the mock speed sections. Control is completely gone. But hey, you know what? You still have to beat the level regardless. Huzzah! Goal done! Booyah! Oh, B rank! Yeah, we kind of died multiple times in that run. Oh well. And another crisis is averted in Crisis City. And we get Blaze the Cat! Introduced in Sonic Rush, but her origin was somewhat in Sonic 06 was changed. As much as I dislike relying on others, I'm grateful for your aid. The creature was beyond my skills. Well, to be fair, we were all caught off guard by a creature that just came out of nowhere! Hmm. So I don't think that we can let our guard down just yet. No! We can't let our guard down until we can exit this void! Let's get into, uh... Let's see, what do we want to play as? We play as? Yeah, let's play as Classic Sonic here. Firstly. Don't stand under spike traps, they'll kill you! <laughs> okay. So we got, uh, Rooftop Run from Sonic Unleashed. Was well, probably by far the favorite stage of Sonic Unleashed, because everyone talks about it all the time. The Sonic Unleashed, I think, was actually the last Sonic game to be released for the PlayStation 2. But it was also released for the Nintendo Wii, which some people say is the... the, uh, not the definitive edition of it. Because Sonic Unleashed... was, you know, a, a, a double game setting of sorts, you know? Where it was on the Wii and PlayStation 2, but it was also on PlayStation 3 and Xbox. It was weird. <laughs> Even though they could technically make... You know, I wouldn't mind seeing if someone tried to recreate Sonic Unleashed for the Wii by using Sonic uh, Sonic Colors' engine. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see how people could actually recreate that game with the limited hardware and see if it's actually possible. Because Sonic Colors did show us that that normally Sonic... Now, Sonic Unleashed could potentially, but the gameplay of Sonic Unleashed for the HD consoles could technically do work on the Wii. Come on, Sonic, your jump is very gimped today, apparently. Ow. Egg Robos. Dr. Eggman's really weird in terms of their robot design. Something like every game, he changes, it, changes his robot's minions to something else. I guess he's trying to improve on the on the design, truly, but so ow! What is this town's fascination with <laughs> with blade saws? I have no idea by it, but whatever. Maybe they need to use it to uh, break open these <laughs> these barrels full of like wine and such. Give me some rings there. Ooh, no, no, no. Right there, get out of that way of the barrel. Ow, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, destroyed the guy. I'll take that as a win. <laughs> I'll take that as a win. There we go. Ooh, ow. Jump that way, jump that way. Oh, no, no. Come on, ow. Oh, I can get a red ring. Ow. The barrel's like, that's my ring. <laughs> okay, fine, you can take it. <laughs> but I still win in the end. Oh, come on. Sonic, 
Jump higher. Fine. Bubble shield. <laughs> okay, that worked somewhat. Come on. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Can I not get up there? Then why is a spring for? Okay. I don't know what that pathway is for, because I don't think I can get up there. Oh, no! 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 Oh! Well, there goes my perfect rank. <laughs> it says, do not... To, even the hint told me not to get killed, you know, avoid the spikes to get the spike drops to avoid death spikes. And I didn't heed their tutorial. I read the tutorial and I said no to the tutorial and I lost to it. <laughs> How unfortunate of me. Up that way, come on now. Is that, in fact, I've even heard that even Sonic Unleash has been delisted by Sega. Like, why? Was it technically Sonic Unleash? And, uh, at least a, a. Was it. I'm pretty sure it sold well. Nope, Sonic! <sighs> I can't believe Sonic can keep falling badly here! Oh boy, okay. We got that ring again. I got a shield to, to help me here, but we'll see what happens here. Ah, da, da. Come on up. Jump that way, jump that way! Booyah! I watch out for these spike traps and don't get killed by them again. Booyah, booyah! Now let's see if I don't fall to the death pit. There we go, got my life back. <laughs> That's like the worst part of the entire stage, is that barrel sector. Although, well, technically the one of the two worst areas. We haven't gotten to that part yet, which is the clock tower. We're, at the, we're almost there now, so... There we are, the clock tower. Here we go. There's a potential glitch that can happen here where you can get soft locked. Where, like, you go into like the the clock hands here at the end, and you can get and for some reason the animation won't play, and the uh, the cutscene won't continue on after. So yeah, you get kind of stuck, which is unfortunate. No, not on my watch. Spin dash to victory! Come on, we got this. Now, I do have to say, this looks like this game looks amazing. Like, for 2011 standards, this was actually a pretty good looking game. I can't say much for the, uh, the Sonic Generations, though, or Sonic 3DS Generations. There we go. Thought I almost got stuck there for a second. Ooh. Let me get out of here. We, we, we crashed the egg. This egg blimp. Let's destroy this Eggman blimp. Let's get out of here. Okay. Sorry, I didn't pay for a ticket, but I'm getting out of here anyway. Huzzah! I think I broke the camera there too while I'm at it. Yeah, we got a B rank. Just like Sonic wasn't making AAA titles in this era, he was making B titles. <laughs> and Rooftop Run is done and dusted. For at least classic, we now have to do it with modern style. Let's go do it. Now we get truly Sonic Unleashed here. Woo, yeah! Woo, boy! Oh, Sonic. Running into the walls again, are we? <laughs> Haven't got through that, uh, werehog phase, have you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sonic doesn't even want to remember the werehog at all. Because that's what Dark Gaia did to him. Well, by technicality, Eggman's laser... Dark guy's energy sort of did him in, but still, I think it's still unclear of uh, what 
really caused Sonic's transformation. I don't think it was Dark Gaia. I think it was... I think it was Eggman's laser spare. But also, it could be the negative, uh... The negative energy of the emeralds, since the emeralds were drained at, when, uh... Dark Gaia was unleashed, so... By all accounts, it could have been the negative form of the Chaos Emeralds, I and mean, we've already seen what negative powers of Emeralds can do to a character. We've seen what Perfect Chaos has done, what, what Chaos did. As, as the call would have said, he's absorbed the negative power of the Emeralds, and look what he's become. And Sonic, uh, you know, absorbed the, you know, the positive energy from, from the Emeralds to achieve Super Sonic State. So maybe that there was so much negative energy that threw Eggman's laser that caused Sonic to, you know, to become know, a darker version of Super Sonic. Which, what is Sonic, you know, going back to Sonic X's tangent, that that's a concept that didn't really, didn't see, didn't go very far. Like the Metarex, you know, sort of just made Sonic like super angry because he was harming Cream and Chris. And, and somehow he just got so angry that he turned to, like, a darker form of himself. And it's like, man, Sonic is going to go evil. You know, it's like, this is pretty cool, but it's really, you know, it basically got done in by a buzz kill by Eggman. <laughs> to be fair. And it's like, that could have, that could have been so much of a good concept, but they don't go back to it. For the rest of the uh, Matter X saga, it doesn't, they don't go any further in, into the Dark Sonics saga. Which is a missed opportunity, and maybe they should do that in the games. But you know that what what Sonic Unleashed could have technically been, you know, the Werehog is essentially what Super Sonic would be as a darker form. You never know. And this stage is so much fun to travel through at high speeds. I love this. Got my free life here. On my life. Homing attack. That. There we go. Boost to win! Huzzah! We're almost done here. We have a last chase sequence. Got the red ring from there. Not bad. Gotta watch out for these really big lasers from behind here. They take up two lanes, even though it doesn't really look like they do. Let's see over the most right or the most left when these things go off. And the stage is done! Red Ring Collector! I got, well, from both my initial playthrough and this playthrough, I've now collected 30 rings. 30 red rings. Not bad! And rooftop run is cleared, folks. Huzzah! And we get Vector the Crocodile. Introduction was supposed to be Sonic 1, but it was pushed to uh, Sonic, I don't know, Knuckles Chaotix, and then fully returned in Sonic Heroes. He's a detective, and he seems to know a lot about... He knows how to think like a wit mind and such. Got Mushroom Hill Zone uh, music. Nice! And it doesn't matter. Oh, we got... It doesn't matter. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's go! 